But yeah, this this was the follow up. I don't know if you remember when I it was like long. It was months ago, and I said I was going to do like a thing about the problems with passport bros, and um, I, I forgot to do it because it, it was so long ago. But I, I definitely wanted to get into that because there's so much bullshit going on with that. Like it got to the point where the so-called face of passport. Fuck it, I'm gonna just say his name, Austin Holloman. <laughs> he was he he wanted to to denounce the the label himself. I guess he didn't, but I, I, I'm not even sure because I don't even check for his videos anymore, to be honest. But yeah, you know, once you once the movement becomes bigger, you start getting less quality people involved. So I, I think that's what's going on. Because like half of them are pookies. I'm I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. Like, they perpetuate the very stereotypes that we were originally saying that's not true. When all the black women were saying, all these guys are lames. Um, they just looking for easy pussy. Which I had no problem with. Which, yeah, I don't have a problem with. But, I mean, that's not a new thing. But it's now that guys are posting it on social media and stuff. Like, something, not everything needs to be on social media. Like... If you take a shit, that doesn't have to be posted online for everyone to know you've taken a glorious shit. Like, I agree. <laughs> no, I agree. Like, it, it, like you said, it promotes the, the negative stereotypes that are already persist about black men being overly sexual and and things like that. My issue with the with the password, like you know, the group. Well, I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. A, I'm in one of the little password group groups because you know sometimes it's good information, but. I my issue is it's how they move and do things like the very women they complain about. Like like one dude kept saying, like, you know, no no dip policing. And then when you look at what he meant by dip policing, like, you know, you, you shouldn't tell men like they can't post women and, or they can't fuck women. Like nobody cares what women he has sex with. But it would behoove of you to not post those pictures on social media where people can just take those download those pictures and do whatever with them like why would you expose yourself to that type to that level of criticism and that's my issue is you and, got all these dudes who want to and it's know, not just that when they do that by proxy you're you're insinuating the whole group that too so when you sit there putting yourself on blast just being Johnny Kaboom <laughs> showing showing you with with Marissa and Maricel and Lilibeth fucking them all in a train one night and saying, look at me, I'm a, I'm at such and such hotel. I blew all these bitches back. <laughs> <laughs> like, that makes us all look bad. They's like, see, all these black dudes, look, look at them, a bunch of lames going to get pussy because they can't get it here in the States. And, and let's be honest, some of them can't. And you can tell the ones who don't get pussy here because the way they fucking act is, is just cringe. Like and and and, I've, and I and one of my major criticisms, and a lot of people disagree with me was, I was like, if you're an incel here, you're gonna be an incel or simp everywhere. Yes. And I don't want to use those interchangeably because they're two different things. But so so, let's start with the simps. So if you if you simping on women here, you're gonna simp overseas, and just getting a passport doesn't correct behavioral problems. And I keep trying to impress that upon a lot of people because they was like. When people see, see these guys getting clowned for being simps here in America, they say, oh, he just need to get a passport. Like, no. First, he needs to work on himself, then travel, because wherever he travels, he's going to have the same problems, because women are women everywhere. Like, just because you, quote, unquote, leave the matrix doesn't mean that women stop being women. If, if you make yourself a mark, <laughs> like, you'll be a mark anywhere. People can smell it on you. You have to improve upon yourself no matter where you're at or you're always going to have the same problems following you. The same with the incel. Like, if you, like, hate women, have a completely socially awkward, um, you know, those sort of behaviors, that's going to follow you everywhere. Like, some... And I, I've said this in a video last year. I said some people just don't need to travel. I'm sorry. Like, no, I, I agree with you. I mean, my, my main thing is, like... I, that I dislike is how 
they put on this air of superior, like, yeah, you know, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing this, and I had the money trouble because I'm in this industry or that. They fucking act like it. Like, have right. some fucking decorum. Have some cool. Like, I'll give a prime example. Bill Gates was fucking his side chick mm -hmm. for decades, and nobody knew about it until his wife said something when they were divorcing, and she knew and was cool with it. So that means her problem with him wasn't the affair. Her problem with him was when he was getting close to to uh, Epstein. That was, I, that's what blew. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying the affair was a problem because she was okay with that. Yeah, that's what. No, yeah. that's right. She was okay with that. But the my point is, look how long he was doing that and nobody knew because he kept what what Kevin Samuel said was a high value man. A high value man may have options. But having options doesn't mean you sneaking around on your wife. It means not even that. I'm not it, mean, even... it means that you can you can do what you do with a certain understanding that you are not going to embarrass your family. Well, you're, you're taking it too far. I'm not even talking about them being married. I'm not even talking about dudes who are married. I'm talking about having the decorum to know, yeah, go have your fun, but know how to shut the fuck up. Well, that's, well, that's <laughs> what I'm getting to. I'm saying oh, yeah. you. You know, basically, it's, you know, it's same the same thing. thing. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, if you're married, you don't have to worry about sneaking around them. But that's what I'm saying. You don't have to worry about that. But that'll mean you you just announce to the world, yo, I smash you, I smash you. And then it's getting so uh, okay, my bad. But yeah, it's getting so bad that you got password bros acting like dudes in the hood. You know, like how dudes in the hood be like, yo, you fuck such and such, yo, I fucked her too. And I used to be like. Why are you guys talking about all fucking the same bitches? Like, that's... That's, that's hard. Like, I, I thought I was... Like, until I talked with, like, you and someone else, I thought I was, like, in the... Like, in the minority of thinking that's fucking weird to be talking about all fucking the same chicks. I'm like, ew. Like... And that's kind and, of... And, and, and that's... It's getting to that point. Because even in the in some of these videos, I'm not, I'm not calling the girls out or the guys who are dating them. But I've seen like guys in Thailand who have fucked this or dating the same chicks, like people I've that I knew, like that I've talked to <laughs> online. So <it's>, and, <laughs> that was even, it was even in the group. Remember that? Like they was like, "Yo, that's such and such." such. I'm not gonna say her name because she's a she's a sweet person, but I've seen her in some of the Thailand guys' videos, and I'm like, "She getting around?" Like she. So it's like, know, I was like, "I saw her." In the Million Man March. Did I change the channel? I she, saw her. She, she floating over in the Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's my point. I was like, it's getting international now with Nick. Like, I, if, if, if I have a passport that opens me up to, like, literally billions of women across the world, I am not looking to fuck the same bitches I seen on a YouTube channel that someone else was with. Like, no. That's just, that's, uh, I don't get it. Like they bringing that hood mentality internationally. Like, and that's, stay your ass at home. And that's my second point: is you have a lot of dudes who have money, but again, a lot of these dudes I would say are lames. And I and and it's funny because, like you said, with the hood thing, they'll swear up and down, man. You gonna say that to my face? You know? Yeah. You know, and one guy even said one guy even like, said that to me once. When like, I was like, <laughs> some of these pookies, he's like, you wouldn't say that to me. He's like, he said, like, I, I see where you used to. Like doing like trying to like follow me on uh, doing uh on Facebook and he was wrong anyway. He was like, I see you were from University Park. Like nigga, I haven't lived there since I was like fucking twelve years old. Talking about yeah, you live in you from University Park. You should know that the wild hunnets we come down where you live, blah blah. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Like, first of all, I, I was like, I travel to get away from dumbass niggas like you. You don't even need to be in this fucking group talking all that hood shit. I was like, too like. I'm calling it what it is. If people are acting like pookies, I'm going to call them fucking pookie. And that's my problem. That's, that brings my second issue. Is uh, you they, they act like the same woman they complain about. Y'all do the same things. Y'all don't want to hold each other accountable. Anytime somebody has a criticism, you automatically... Oh, you dick policing. You, you, you throw some type of, of shaming tactic. It's no different when women say when you hold... When you, call them on that shit or oh, you're bashing black women no i'm calling you i'm holding you accountable for your bullshit one of the big <laughs> things of the did i don't know where the black manosphere stands anymore because i don't claim that shit anymore but one of the big things they used to claim at least since like kevin samuels and, and a lot of them was having dick discipline for some reason passport bros at least half of them think that's not a that's not a problem anymore because i can just go overseas and do what i want 
until that shit cuts up with you. And it, it is going to catch up because here's the thing. Because one dude was in there asking about, basically he was trying to, basically well, this was his plan. Was he was going, you know, go raw dog. If you get a chip pregnant, he's like, I'm just going to leave and not pay child support. I ain't got to take care of the kid. That's a and scumbag. He is a scumbag. And dudes caught, and what made it worse, some of the dudes were like, they're trying to, trying to like defend it. I'm like, nah. And I, I, I even said like, no, y'all niggas is weird. Like, number one, the U.S. has treaties with certain countries when it comes to child support. Don't get it twisted. And the fuck, I wouldn't leave. And definitely, if you military, they right. will track you. I'm not, but and and that's like who who plans to who wants to leave leave a, a woman in a third world country with with, with a kid with, with a child that's yours, just just ugh, that's just fuck. And up. honestly, I and to and I hate to say this and. Hey, I hate to say it, I do see why some black women say the shit they do about past. Like I, I'm like some of she, they're not totally wrong about some of y'all. Well, about, they were right for the wrong reasons because right. when they were originally, when they were originally lobbing their insults, this was before all the data came out. This, this, this was basically just a way to shame them back into submission. And which, it has, which hasn't been working because now what you see now is the the women, the so-called passport systems. But that's just not gonna work for them. Because no one is checking over, men overseas aren't checking for American women. Like, they may, some of them may be pretty, but when they come there, like, they're that, not, ad, that attitude is uh, is going to get them get them shut down. Because like guys the chick aren't going to do Like, it. the chick that got arrested in Dubai, it was another chick. Some, like, some dude slapped her, just straight up smacked her in the mouth. You talking about the one on the train that had the dog? I think it was that one. But either way, the point is, American women will get... Hot. Like we, and that's the thing. That's that brings to a whole other. And point. in Africa, they not taking the African men ain't taking that shit either. They like, will beat your ass. <laughs> like, I don't take this shit from them. Fufu. You think I'm gonna take this from from you, Laquandra, bitch? <laughs> oh, <laughs> dare you, police? Respect your husband. Oh, I'm going back to the states. Pretty much. But yeah, man, that, that's my issue. Like, like I like I like traveling because I like experience on the culture. The, the the architecture like you know I have a few places on my list now like Spain is amazing there's a few places I want to check out there and I'm just like y'all monkeys are just making it <laughs> bad for me because and they and that's the <laughs> that's my biggest problem what they don't they don't understand that when they talk about dick police and they don't understand that their behavior reflects on other guys who travel like if that wasn't the case fine like white people don't have that problem because there's no ethnic image of them Except for old white men now. Old white men do have the the, the the stereotype of being creepy little perverts. But outside of them, like, white men as a whole don't have an ethnic image one way or the other about them that, that will get them, you know, treated a certain, tr treated a certain way. way. We do. And knowing, knowing that we have that here, why would we perpetuate negative stereotypes of ourselves somewhere else where those stereotypes don't even exist like but we're implementing them by s some of our sketchy behavior and that's what like some passport bros need to be put in check for that and i will happily do it so i mean <laughs> i do agree with austin on that like one of the few things but um yeah uh i, I just wanted to put it out there because you know other people will too and and, and and some and some of them like I said, some of the ones making videos who are more popular and stuff, they don't they don't talk about that stuff. Like they'll they'll mention it in passing, but it, you know you're not gonna see it as often. No, but it needs to be said because iron sharpen, sharpens iron, and brothers need to hold other dudes accountable. Need to hold each other accountable. When you're fucking up, it's okay to take criticism. Honestly, I, I miss Kevin Samuels, man. Like I really well, do. <laughs> one thing I do like so. Whoever's um, managing his his channel now, like they've been taking stuff and re-editing it and putting new stuff out. I mean, not new stuff, but like his stuff. Reformatting, and, making it shorter, and yeah, and and I, I miss. I, some people need to see that. Plus, I don't like the fact that all these little wannabes came out and was stealing his shit this wholesale and posting it on their channel. Yep. And I still see it. Like a lot of it got shut down, but I'm still seeing stuff in my um. And my feed come up with people just stealing his shit wholesale. I'm like, uh, Dennis Brown still got a long way to go to get all these people off. Because I, I personally hope he shuts all of them down. 
Like, I don't, like, it's different from doing a reaction to just posting someone's shit in total and just run, just running it and not not giving any acknowledgement right. acknowledgement or, or or payment back to to the estate of Kevin Samuels and you just stealing his shit wholesale like it's not even a reaction video nothing like, like I said man I, I miss the brother like the mass teaches have carried on that's how I look at these these now I'm like y'all are just scumbags like oh he would he would definitely put them on blast like like the funny thing is his the password bro is like a is like a, the aftermath of how he was treated, and I, and I get it, and I and I do, and I'm and I and I get why, and I understand it. My issue is though, with with the passport bro thing is, take his lesson. Don't 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 diminish this man's memory by being the very thing he was combating against, and I think that's the most disrespectful thing to his memory. You're becoming like. Not saying all the past, were, not saying all the all men who travel and anything like that, but there is a handful who are literally becoming the very thing he fought against, and you're perpetuating the stereotypes that he actively fought against. Like, and, and, and a lot of them forget he was harder on the guys than he was the women. He got so much blowback because because because, 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 women. because women don't know how to take criticism. Guys, for the most part, are used to getting criticized. So even though a lot of them had had smoke for him, one he got he could he didn't take it there on his videos like he he didn't get petty like a lot of people do in their videos now where they want to dox each other and, and make threats both on and offline. He he stayed above that fray, but like he was much harder on the guys than he was the women. And a lot of people forget about that because you see that in the Kevin Samuel groups like they love dogging the shit out of women in, in those little Kevin Samuel discussion groups on Facebook but when you put when you call their behavior into question all of a sudden they 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 take it there so honestly I think the the closest successor I would say to Kevin Samuels was Media Man shout out to Media Man like I watched them so the dude I, like I watched Hassan T. Jackson I watched I wa Dr. Uh, Jackson's cool. Philip, uh, Philip, um, sorry, what's his name? I think he's like a pastor or something too. Right? Um, Philip, um, well, he, he he makes a lot of good content. The only, only people I watch is Dr. T. Sahan Johnson and Medium Man. Now, Medium Man, you know, he got the Kevin Sand. Kind of so, like, he had the, he have like a professional dress on. He usually got a bow tie, some, you know, suspenders. But he a cool dude. But I, I, I gave him a black man's fear when they tried to elect fucking pearly things as, as the succession to, to Kevin Sanders. Well, and the thing is, Media Man, he doesn't do the black manosphere thing. His thing is, and I do like it, is, look, I, he takes the topic that's being said, he finds the numbers, and he even reports whether the numbers support this claim or not. Like, the man has, when I say the man pulls data, the man pulls data. Like, the man pulls data. Like, I respect that uh, above everything the man pulls data. Like, one um one thing he he put he called bullshit on was when black women were saying oh black men kill black women oh I'm sorry black women black men delete black women delete a black woman every five hours that doesn't even that I know that, that, so, that, that mathematically, mathematically doesn't, doesn't make sense up. I know just in, just intuitively like you you would add that up and you're expecting like, a woman a black woman at that to use arithmetic and numeracy is a is a serious thing in the states but anyway but, <laughs> I mean, but, but, but my point is you expecting a black woman to be to be smart but that's besides the point the point but like i said even the numbers show like homicide is not even a top 10 causes of deletion for black women you know what's in it you know what's in one of the top 10 or it's in that list i think number one hair weaves going astray no <laughs> <laughs> Basically, high blood pressure and diet. Like anything, right. anything related to like, diet. Like, like Big Mama on soul food. Yes, anything related to <laughs> health. Those are the top ten things that that are blacked out. You know what? They, you know what? <laughs> I, as an aside, you know what made soul food even worse was how did they celebrate the passing of Big Mama? To eat the same they, goddamn. They, they, food. They, they ate a big ass piece of the same goddamn food that killed her. I think even the boondocks made fun of that they shit did. too. They did. They sure did. <laughs> and, and that's my point. Like, like just, just spouting bullshit. But like I said, the closest thing I think we'll ever have again to Kevin Samuels is a media man. And watching his content and seeing, I, I respect. Like he calls dudes out when they have bullshit all the time. 
Now, as far, now as far as the press book, bro, uh, there are some channels I really, really look like. I, I think Zoom to Thailand is my favorite one. Like, shout out to Richie Mack. I know he don't watch this, but just in case. But his, his shit is cool, and black the Black Experience Japan, um, Ronzo, he does not get enough enough respect in in the uh, in them passport streets. Cause he he was been doing it before there was a passport bro movement. 